Hello, this is uh, our fifth uh, video or fifth parts of the graphical user uh, interface. Uh, in this part, uh, we're going to show, uh, because last time we've done only the designs of them, now we're going to add something that's called action listener. Action listener or event handler uh, is when you press a button. Uh, for instance, assume we've got something like I'm going to make something very simple. Uh, and here, for instance, we have uh, an interface. There it is here. Mind my my drawing. Uh, and assume I've got a button here. Uh, and I've got uh, whatever you want. You want the text field. Let's put it, for instance, on the top here. Text field. In here, and I will say I'll call the button here, for instance, a print. If I click a print or display, the message should display uh, here. We're gonna do it in two types. Uh, one thing, and second thing is uh, people gonna probably ask if I've got a few buttons, can I add them here? Uh, of course, we're gonna do it actually uh, in future uh, videos. Uh, so the idea of this part of this video is when I click on this button when I click on this one hopefully I'm going to display a, a message uh, in here which is called uh, there's an action listener or event uh, handler in, in here let will start on the program but the idea is to design that uh, the layout we use usually which is popular when you write the code in here use the border uh, layout because you have the north part, you've got the south part, you've got east, uh, west, and oh, is it west or east? East, uh, and of course you've got the middle here. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna create a button, put it south, and we've got a text field, and we can put it up north. You can make this text field, or you can make it as a label. We'll try to label and text text field in here. So that's the the whole purpose of this uh, video. And when I click on this, so, uh, there's a message will appear here. Then we we'll start with the code and we'll talk about it as we go uh, along here. Let me just get rid of this first, and we start uh, by creating. There you go. Creating a class. That is so a new uh, Java class. Of course, we're gonna show you later on how you do designs uh, an easy way, graphical uh, or using drag and, and drop. Now we'll call this uh, class, for instance, uh, uh, called event handling for instance example so that's my class and of course I need a main for that and here we go that's done here remember I'm gonna demonstrate a few I'm gonna make a few mistakes so and, and then we fix them as we go along that makes you understand actually what's what really is going on here so remember this is always import uh, Java Uh, swings, of course. There it is. And uh, if you want to import uh, Java, and uh, let me just stop this here, right? And just leave it like just like that. Uh, and we're gonna create a default constructor public, and that's the name here. There you go. Just copy it. It's in here, and that's, and I'll make it empty now. Uh, and all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna to set a layout to a border layout. So set layout, and say a new border layout. And you want the X and Y, of course. Say five by five, distance between them, there we go. Stop here. Look at that. It's giving me an error. You look in here in the error, and you see it says border layout cannot be resolved. 
to a type. Reason for that, because you don't put extends here. Remember, don't forget that extends. Oops, sorry. And this is J frame. There you go. That's one thing. Still, we have an error here. So if you look in here, say what's the error here? There you go. So I've done the J frame. Of course, the other thing is we need to import Java AWT. There we go. And here it is. You see, is resolved because it's part of AWT, the border and else. That's why we need these two in here. All right. Uh, as for uh, in main, we will sort this out first, and then we'll do the design after. And as we said, it depends on the class name. It is as your class name. Create an object of it. That's what we need here. Uh, so I'll bring it here. I call it a frame. I call a new. Uh, of course, in here, I call default constructor, and that's it. So we've got an object called frame, and the rest we're going to do the size of the frame, the title, the locations, uh, visible or not, and all sorts. Uh, and of course, we've done this earlier on, so I'm going to just take it if one of them here. Yeah. Uh, so I can take it as it is in here. I bring it back to my code in here, and of course, this is just to make the video short. That's why I've done this, uh, this part. Uh, of course, we can change the title here, and I would call it, for instance, event handling. Uh, and of course, it's event handling. Uh, and then we can start here. As we say, so we're going to create one button and one. A text field or a J label. So I'll do the text field and I might check and change it to J label uh, in a minute. All right. Uh, to create a button, of course, uh, it's a good idea to have a private anyway in here, these attributes here. So I've got a J button. And of course, uh, I would call the object PTN, for instance, uh, I call display. Like this. Equal a new. Uh, J button and we'll see what do we write on the button to do appear. Uh, I'm gonna say for instance uh, print right just print on it that is print as message or show uh, print message right on print I'm gonna print message I'm gonna just call it like that on other button here. The other thing we have I'm gonna create a text field uh, private to text fields use this g text uh, j text field here and i'm gonna call it uh, txt message equal a new uh, j text uh, field uh, of course you can say uh, how many characters or you can leave it uh, empty here right these two things have been done right now we come to the object to the constructor here and we've got the border layout all i'm going to do i'm going to add these different parts uh, if we're going to combine a few things we can use something called panel which is something we're going to talk about uh, in the next in the next video just to show you how you can design actually a nice uh, an interface uh, so set layout so i'm going to put the button right in the in the south for instance all you do Add, get the object which is button display here, add it here, and say where do you want it because this is board layout. All you can say to put it, use, use the class border layout and say I would like it in the south. In the south, there's the south. Make sure this comes. Italic, if it doesn't get italic, there's something wrong with your code here. I'm going to add yeah, the text field, which is text message, and I'm going to put it up north. Then I go here, audit, and I says put it, put the layout. 
and I said, but it's not for me. So it's very simple, right? If you ask how do buttons together, buttons and fields and so on together, uh, combine them together, something we're gonna do in next uh, videos. So if I do this on its own, just run it, it's nothing gonna happen, right? But just show you, display the output for you. Here it is, so I've got the text message. Here it is, you see print message, it says print message, this is a button, and I say it with the on south. And here, the text field, which is called text message, I say put it up north for me. If I put it center, it sits in here. So if I change this one, for instance, if I close this one, and I say center here, it's gonna put it in the center for me. Put the center, run it, and here you go, it's in the center. Uh, however, I put it in the north uh, for the moment. North. And now, when we run it, yeah, that's what's going to happen. We can see. Now, what I'm going to say, when I'm going to click on a print message, I want this message, uh, this message is going to come here. I'll come. Uh, this video All right so uh, this to appear every time I print on this thus should appear in here All right Put this in mind here and this appears here so it's here I'm gonna all I'm gonna do I'm gonna create class for the moment here so this in order to work this one out you need to put the button itself, PTN display here, yeah. and make sure when I do that, you click on add, you can see it, action, and it says click on this, and the two types you can do two ways. You can do either create a class, a new for instance, uh, say display uh, message. Something like that, uh, which means I'm creating a class that's called display message. Before we go any further on that, of course, we're going to do this. I'm going to create a class. Remember, the class is inline class, it's not on its own public. A class, I'm going to call it a display. Sorry, a message. And you have to make sure you say implement. Implements the man's uh, look in here uh, action listener. There it is. All right, if you look at that, there's action a listener here, and this is implements. Uh, and this one, of course, is display. There it is. The class is called display message display uh, message is in here so all we do in here reality is just uh, if you look at this error here of course uh, we still <coughs> haven't done uh, the rest we're just doing it in a minute we're gonna write a method inside this class you put a method as public always the case always exactly the same public uh, void action performed action Performed, that's what that's called. Ah, oh, sorry. And then you put action event and get an object of it, and then just whatever you want. That means when you click on this button here. And this display button when I click, it goes in here, the action listener, and it goes to the new display message within the class. All it needs is looking for something is called public void action perform. So if I'm gonna say the text message here I've got is called txt m message. So I'm gonna say here uh, txt message. If I want to write inside that, so I can say set 
text, here it is. What do you want to write in it? Of course, you say you're going to say, Welcome to this video. There you go. And that's we're done here. Uh, let's have a look actually on these these errors uh, in here. What we have in, in here. This is called add action listener. Uh, of course, it's, it sounds uh, sounds right. This. Let me see what does it say here. Why uh, abstract uh, event handling exceptions play message added. The display message. If I look, at, if I click on this one, is it the same as the class name? Uh, seems there is uh, message. Now let me see. Let me copy this one and put this one here. Just here we go. All right, uh, and of course. This is public action performed implements action and action listener, right? Uh, and here, of course, uh, if you look, if you look at this, uh, see and check on on the errors. Uh, sometimes all you need to do, you check in here. We do an action listener. The reason for that because what you've got in here, you've got a swing and you've got a w t inside a w t. Look at that, and just in case you have these problems here, inside AWT, you need to import Java dot AWT dot. Look at that event. There it is. You need to get this one, and here you go. All right. It is something. So some people they they say, well, I've got a star here, the asterisk, it means everything. No, it's not, because you need something like that. And that causes you an error. You cannot do that. Right? Uh, and that's why you need to, if when you want to click on buttons or whatever, you need to import this java.awt.event.star and sort that one out for you, as we see it. Now, when we click on the buttons here, just try to explain the idea. Uh, in here let me just run it say okay All right uh, what we've done here uh, that's that's the whole thing is when I click on a print message is this waiting for me All right uh, waiting for when you print the message so as soon as I click on this print message this one is gonna come here button display add action listener a new display message Display message is this class I'm using, and this class makes sure it implements this interface, action listener interface. All it's interested in is one method in, in this class, which is called, this is fixed all the time, public void action performed. And of course, the argument is action event, uh, you put anything, E, whatever, in here. And of course, inside here, yeah, that's what it changed whatever you want to do so in here all i'm going to say i'm saying here your text message which is this is the txt txt message and it is it's defined here uh, all it said here set text it means write on it write on it welcome to this video so if i click on this here you go welcome to this video in here all right uh, so uh, if i remove it here and I click in here. Here you go. Welcome to this video. I can close this one here. Uh, what I can do is I can add uh, uh, buttons, of course, to do uh, clear the message. So I can get uh, a button, uh, say do clear uh, message. So if I say private J button, I'm creating. Uh, and I call it uh, btn clear uh, called clear message uh, or uh, clear or clear uh, equal a new and say uh, j button and what I wanted that be written on it I would say for instance uh, clear message All right there it is so I've got this one. All I need to do, I need to add it here. Uh, what I'm going to do, 
uh, I'm gonna put uh, in here for instance all right I'm gonna add it to the east or west add right. uh, and I will say for instance here it is the bottom of clear ptn clear and you want that to be uh, I'm gonna border a uh, layout and put it east here it is right and that's sorted here if I run this again here here it is here it is clear message the east I can do this because this is I've got the action listener here it doesn't do anything all I can do in that case similar I'm gonna say button a clear pt and a clear dot add action listener a new and I'm gonna create a class uh, to do with with this one so I'm gonna call the class clear message right let me create a class called clear message here I can say public uh, class uh, I'm gonna call it clear uh, message don't forget and pass and you need action listener there you go and all you all you need to do uh, you say public void action perform bracket action event and put anything in here x y z e i'm gonna put x right uh, anything you can put if you want that's no problem you can put if you want and it still works right uh, so on here all we're gonna say for the message itself txt message dot set to make it clear in here uh, i can say set text like this uh, and I'm gonna say just if you would like that that means write nothing on it so just to empty it right uh, so all I'm gonna do now look in here for the clear you can put it here you can put it anywhere you want and uh, so I can say ptn I'm sorry ptn clear dot add is it clear right yes ptn clear dot action add it is action listener and all I'm gonna say new and then the class name clear message yeah do this and I say new clear message and of course you call in the constructor don't forget with that these brackets here now if I run the program yeah there you go print message clear the message it is clear print the message it takes me here the action performed for printing the message if you look in here print message I'm calling display message is near and it goes to this one when I say clear it goes to clear message class which is this one and of course it says here set text to nothing so there you go all right this concludes uh, the use of the event handling using uh, classes and the second part of this video or uh, video six uh, we're going to show you actually how we do that in in line thank you very much uh, should you have anything just uh, any quiz please let me know